So here we are back in Lightroom and it's imported all the white water rafting photos and as you can see it's imported them into the folder here September the 1st as we set it up uh, to do. And there was 971 photos, these were taken on a 20 megabyte camera so the file size is a 20 megabytes um, and they took probably 971 photos took about an hour and a half um, whilst it was building, importing and building the one-to-one -one previews. It would have been probably a third of that time if we hadn't have asked it to build one-to-one -one previews. But I think at the next step you'll see why um, that's a, a really good thing to do. So now we've got them into Lightroom, what we've got to do is put them into um, folders, if you like, so that we'll be able to easily find them in the future. And this is the greatest uh, power, the greatest asset of Lightroom, in my opinion. Your ability to be able to put your photos into folders uh, with names that you understand so that you can easily find them in the future. And Lightroom calls its folder structure collections. And you down this side, you can see all the collections that I've set up okay now you can I'm going to show you how you create these names later and you create create the folders but you you could use whatever names you want but I've used this particular hierarchy of folders to categorize my um, photos for the last two or three years and it's certainly worth thinking about it before you start because it's sort of a bit tricky or more tricky to change later on so you don't really want to do it when you've got 30,000 photos in Lightroom and as you can see, I split it up into these headings. And if you, just to give you an example how it works, if we look at, say, Nature, and we open the Nature uh, collection, then in there is sub-collections. And if we go down, uh, we can open up Birds, and here are all the birds that I've taken photos of. And if we open up the Little Owl, then here are the photos I took of a Little Owl, up in a hide in um, over towards Lincoln Way, I think. So these are the master photos that I decided to keep from that particular shoot. So you can see that by setting up these folders, um, which Lightroom calls collections, it's very easy in future to be able to find your particular type of, uh, your particular photo. Now, there are other ways in Lightroom to find photos. You can uh, search with the keywords that we talked about in the last um, video. But it's always easier, isn't it, to be able to search with uh, titles and names you understand. And if I went up and did another little owl shoot or another um, uh, took little owls at another hide or whatever, then I'd just set up another subfolder within little owl and maybe call it shoot two, something like that. So that's how I do it. Now, how do you set up these folders then? Well, let's go back to the uh, whitewater rafting photos. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a folder that has a name that we understand. So we'll, and it obviously needs to go under sport, whitewater rafting sport. And you can see I've already done this because obviously I imported these photos before and I've called it white water but for the purpose of this uh, example let's create another one so let's create a collection set which is Lightroom's name for folder I won't call them folders anymore we're going to create a collection set in sport and we're going to call it we'll call it uh, home pier point that's what that was the location so I right click on sport and what I want to do is create a collection set. So I could create a collection or a collection set. The only difference is a collection set allows you to create other collections within it, whereas a collection is just a standalone collection of photos. So we're going to create a collection set, and it comes up and it says what title do you want to give it. So we'll call it Home Pierpont. And we it, we're collect uh, placing it within inside the collection set sport, which is where we'd want it to go. And you can see it's popped up inside sport. Now let's suppose we wanted to subcategorize our pictures into the morning and the afternoon session. Then what we need to do is create a collection within at that collection set home pier point. So we create a collection, 
and we call it morning session and see it's saying where do you want to put it inside collection set home peer point it defaults to that and it will create it there it is morning session so now we'll create one for afternoon session So watch over here and you'll see it create it. And there we go, afternoon session. So what we want to do now is slide some of our photos into those folders. So we'll just pick the first, um, pick the first 30 photos. And I did that by clicking on the first one and then shift clicking on the last one, just normal folder um, commands. And then just left click and slide just as you would on your desktop and I'll slide those into morning session so the first 27 photos have gone into morning session and now we'll just put the next 30 odd into afternoon session just as an example so click on the first one and click on the last one left click and drag and put them into afternoon session okay if we now look if we now click on those folders if we click on morning session there we are we've just got the folders the photos that we slid in there we are the 27 and if we click on afternoon session in that folder now we've just got the photos that we slid in there now here is the really important really really important thing to understand what Lightroom's done is what it calls created a virtual copy of your photos, all right? So all your photos haven't moved at all. They're exactly where they were. They're in this folder on your hard drive on September the 1st, this one up here, okay? They've not moved at all. What Lightroom has done through the, um, you know, the, pro the cleverness of the program, if you like, it's created a virtual copy for you to look at in this, uh, folder called afternoon session morning session and we could we could copy these same photos into 10 different folders just because that suited us the same photo could be in 10 different folders down here but there wouldn't be 10 copies of it on your hard drive there'd just be the one copy in the master folder september the first and all of these would be what lightroom has called virtual copies really important thing to understand that Okay, so that's how we, once we've got photos in, we start to organize them into um, names and folders that were collections in Lightroom's terminology that we understand. So in the next video, we're going to sort those photos out to get down to the keepers and ultimately to the photo that we want to process.